Welcome everyone to another video. Today we will be testing Windows Defender, which is the free antivirus that is built into Windows 10. So it's a very common uh, antivirus solution that many users use. And I do have a folder of samples, uh, samples of malware that we're going to use to test this antivirus solution. 53 samples in total. And the procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable Windows Defender, and we'll let it sit for just a moment to see if it detects anything on its own, after which we will then run a system scan, a full system scan, and then if there's any samples left, we will scan the samples folder directly, and then after that, if there's still samples remaining, we will try to execute them and see if the real-time protection can protect us. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and enable Windows Defender. And it looks like we're going to need to do a restart to enable the protection. We have restarted the computer and at this point the real-time protection is getting set up and enabling. And while it's doing that, I am going to also enable Smart Screen because it is part of Windows Defender. And we're just going to use the default settings. And then we'll let this continue to turn on. All right, and at this point we should be up and running. Let's just double check our settings, make sure everything's turned on. Looks like we are good there. Now, we're also just going to double check to make sure that we are up to date. And it took a few minutes, but we are finally up to date. So at this point we're going to just let it sit here for just a few more minutes, see if it detects anything on its own, and we'll go from there. All right, I've waited several minutes and so far nothing has popped up. So let's just check our folder. And it looks like, well, actually it may have actually detected several things here. So let's give it just a moment. So I let Windows Defender run for several more minutes because it looks like it was detecting many of the results. And so this is the full list of what it detected. And we can see that if we check the samples folder, we are left with seven items at this point. A couple things I did notice. Now, it did quarantine most of these automatically, but a couple are marked as failed. The interesting thing is if we go to see details to see which one specifically it failed on, we can see it's loader.exe. If we check our samples folder, that one has been removed. So, it has been quarantined at least in the sense that a user would no longer be able to execute it, uh, but we did get a failed status on two of these. Now, looking at the list here, you can see that most of these are tro uh, Trojans. We do have some backdoors, some ransomware. Uh, there was a PWS, and they're all severe, uh, as mentioned, which is the type of test we're doing here. So at this point, again, these were all detected on its own. Uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and run a full a system scan to see if we get any different results. So we'll get that started. And uh, we'll let that run and be back once it's finished. All right, the full system scan has completed and it looks like it detected two additional results and the actions are not uh, automatic. So what we're going to do, we can see that we do have it set to remove on both of them. So we'll go ahead and click on start actions. And it has now removed those two threats. And so let's go ahead and double check our samples folder. And interestingly enough, we're down to four items. Remember, we had seven, so it looks like it actually removed three results. And so at this point, let's go ahead and scan the folder directly. And nothing additional was found. And so we're going to go ahead and try to execute the remaining results. Please note that this one is showing a size of zero, which means it was detected and it tried to remove it, but was not a clean removal. So we actually only have three to execute. So let's go ahead and do that right now.
All right, it looks like it detected all three of those as possible infections. Now, I'm going to let it sit for just a moment to see if it will remove those uh, other two executable files. And there we go. It looks like it went ahead and removed them. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer. We'll just run some second opinion scans just to verify nothing got through. And so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and close everything. And we will do the restart. I ran a scan with Malwarebytes and it came back clean. I also ran a scan with MZSoft, which also came back clean. And last, Zamana also came back clean. Now, just a quick recap. We started out this test with 53 samples, most of which Windows Defender detected on its own. And then we ran a full system scan and it detected a couple more. And then we were left with three more samples, which were removed upon execution. It's also important to note that two of those detections were failed to quarantine. However, the executable file was still removed from the samples folder, so the threat was still neutralized. And then this last one, we had an attempt to quarantine this sample, and you can see that it did neutralize the threat, but it wasn't a full clean removal of this uh, file. And to be fair, GData, which I also just recently reviewed, also had the same sort of result with this specific sample. It also failed to fully remove this executable file. So it may be something to be with this specific sample, but regardless, all of the threats were, were neutralized and none of them got through. Please remember that this is just one type of test. It was a combination of ransomware, backdoors, and a lot of Trojans. So they were all severe level. Windows Defender, of course, may perform differently in other types of tests. You can take all this information and draw your own conclusion, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.